in the form of lack of faith, you want to say, therefore, I am the righteousness of God. That I am the righteousness of the law. That it says that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You want to say, now because I walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, I am the righteousness of the law. Now, if I am the righteousness of the law, I live above the law. I walk above the law. I now not, I no more walk under the law of condemnation, under the law of sin and death. I walk under a new law, which is higher than the physical law that we see, which is higher than the law that we understand, which is higher than the law of men. This is the law of God. And this law of God when I start to walk in this realm of the law of God, I have power over the flesh. I have power over sickness and diseases. I have power over impossibility. Because in the realm of the spirit, there's no impossibility. Because in the realm of the spirit, there's no impossibility. Because in the realm of the spirit, there's no impossibility. In the realm of the spirit, all things are possible. Now, if I have received freedom upon my spirit, I start to walk in that realm of the spirit. If I have received freedom upon my spirit, I start to walk in the realm of the spirit. I start to walk in the realm of the spirit. Now, if I walk in the realm of the spirit, if I walk in the realm of the spirit, I just have start to enjoy the possibility of the Holy One of Heaven. And if I start to enjoy the possibility of the Holy One of Heaven, it means in my life, there's no boundary. It means in my life, I am who he say I am. It means in my life, I can get to the place that he wants me to get to. It means in my life, I can shine his light just like the sun and the moon shines a light. It means in my life, I can, I, I can look unto heaven and God will quickly look unto me. It means in my life, uh, the Bible says that, that he engraved my name in the palm of his hand. It means because I walk in that realm where there's no impossibility, uh, because I receive Jesus Christ, uh, because I, there's no more condemnation, uh, because I am the glory of the law, because I believe in Jesus Christ, because I have him upon my life, uh, I start to dictate in a, and walk in a new dimension. Now today, this is what Christ wants you to understand from this verse or passage of the scripture, that as we start to walk in the newness of life in Christ, <coughs> as you start to believe in Jesus Christ, um, as you are a Christian, as you are born again, as you are saved, as you start to go to church, as you start to pray, as you start to read your Bible, you need to understand that there's no more condemnation in you because you walk not according to the law of the flesh. You walk according to the law of the spirit. Amen. And the law of the spirit has power over the law of sin and death. And these are the two powerful things that is destroying things today in the world. These are the two powerful things that is causing a lot of calamity, the law of sin and the law of death. Now, the law of sin is what tells you that you've sinned because you've done this. The law of sin is what tells you that you see you are under bondage because you've done this. And the law of death is what comes and says because you've sinned, this is the punishment. Now, what Jesus is saying is that now as many of us that believe in him and have come unto him, the law of deliverance, the law of the spirit is higher than these two laws. And because of that, I start to pray for you today. That by the power of God, by the spirit of God, and by the grace of God that dwell in Jesus Christ, uh, that every possibility will start to become possible for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, as you start to walk together in the newness of life, uh, we start to become who God says we are in Jesus' name. Uh, as we start to believe in him, we start to be who he wants us to be in Jesus' name. The Bible says, it says, For they are not, they, that they are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit do mind the things of the spirit. I start to speak to you and encourage you today that you start to follow and mind things of the spirit and grow thereby. Because if you start to mind things of the flesh, you start to move away from the will of God. But when you start to mind the things, <clears throat> when you start to mind things of the spirit, uh, you start to grow according to the will of God. Hallelujah. You need to understand also, it said for to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. 
because the carnal mind is a limit against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. We will have, we'll have to so, stop our study very soon today, but I just want to also leave you with this word. That as, as long as you continue being um, carnally minded, minded, as long as you continue being carnally minded, you cannot please God. As long as you continue being carnally minded, you cannot please God. The Bible says that as many who are carnally minded, they cannot please God. They cannot pray and God answers them. They cannot pray and receive answers to prayer. And that's why a lot of people are praying and they are not receiving answers to prayer because they are carnally minded. You need to be on one part of the law. That is the law of sin. That is the law of death. And that is the law of freedom and deliverance through Jesus Christ. And as you believe in this law, in the law of deliverance through Jesus, as you receive Jesus into your life for him to stay, you start, to get, you, start, you start to experience the deliverance and the power of God. You start to experience the grace of God. You start to experience things that come with it. And the power of God will start to move in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak to you today. There are many people who are <coughs> discouraged. And I say be encouraged in Jesus' name. The Bible says that whatsoever too, or three people shall agree upon here, as touching anything <clears throat> in heaven, on earth, under the sea, it shall be done to them in heaven. And I pray today that as many who need deliverance from their spirit, that receive deliverance in Jesus' name. As many who need encouragement from their soul, receive encouragement in Jesus' name. As many who need the power of God upon their life, receive the power of God in Jesus' name. As many who has been calling upon the name of the Lord and seems there is no answer, I pray that let the heaven be opened upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that the glory of God shall shine upon your life and you shall start to live as, we, as Christ lived above sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we not thank you. Give you glory. We we'll give you honor because of the glorious thing you've done this day. As many people that you have received your word, as many people that you've imparted with your word with, as many people that have received blessing from heaven, I pray, O oh God, that let that blessing permanent upon their life in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, that you write your name in the book of life in Jesus' name. I pray, O oh God, that let your glory move in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your glory move right now upon their life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Yes, yes. Glory be to your holy name, O Lord. Hallelujah. We we'll give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Uh, this ministration is coming to you from Christian Forum. And this is uh, Paulson Obini. And if you have any question, if you want us to <coughs> pray along with you, um, send us email. If you want a copy of this uh, ministration, send us email. We'll um, be glad to mail a copy to you. And we'll pray that uh, the Lord richly bless you. If you want us to stop by and um, conduct a seminar in your church or come minister in your church, um, send us an email. And by the grace of God, we'll be around to, um, to extend the impartation of the Holy Ghost uh, onto your gathering. And I'll say remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus till I come your way again. Amen.